uh, Brandon here from Pinnacle West Enterprises. Um, today we're going to go over cleaning the, the Y strainers on the EXP2I reactor made by Graco. Um, first step is to turn the valve off on the back of the machine here. This valve cuts off flow to the Y strainer itself from your from your Eastside transfer pump. Uh, the second step would be to uh, come down here to the, the big nut on the bottom on the Y strainer housing right here. This is the Y strainer housing, big nut on the bottom. The filter is in, inside this housing here. So we're going to come in here, we're going to turn this big nut counterclockwise and uh, loosen that off, pull the filter out, clean it out and uh, reinstall it. So you're going to need a bucket for the waste that's going to come out of there. We've already turned our valve off, so we're going to come down in here, we're going to hold our bucket underneath. And uh, we're going to take our big wrench here. And we're going to loosen this nut off. This filter is going to catch um, any debris or anything that's going to be picked up by your transfer pump. Uh, and it's going to stop it before it goes into the machine. So there we go, we got our filter. And our nut here, the filter just pulls right out. You can see in there we got all this, this goo. That's um, debris and cured isocyanides. So that's why we want to check this filter. If we don't clean that, we're going to have um, some flow issues and we're going to end up with pressure imbalances and all kinds of things. So it's very important to check your Y strainer filters. To clean it, um, we use our uh, product All Solve right here, designed to remove cured urethanes and uh, polyureas basically. Here again, you can see all the stuff that's stuck inside that filter. All the the grime and the so just pull that stuff out. This bucket here is full of all solve. We're just gonna give it a real nice rinse. If you come take a look here, you can see all the contaminants that were inside this filter. Now all that stuff um, was too big to make it pass here. Anything that's uh, small enough to make it pass this filter is uh, going to be fine to go through the pump, the heaters, will eventually end up getting caught in the gun, and the, the gun has a set of filters in it as well. So I'll just give that another rinse. I'll wipe it all off. We might need to use some compressed air here to blow off any initial chunks that might not just rinse off. So that's pretty good. We're also going to take our uh, cap here for the filter. So it also has a bunch of buildup in the bottom as you can see right here. And basically just scoop it out with my finger. Um, we want to get all that stuff out. We'll also rinse this whole piece and it'll solve. Okay, now that our filter and cap are all clean, we're going to reinstall this back into the machine. Uh, on the A side uh, Y strainer, you want to throw grease on the threads because of the isocyanite. The isocyanite likes to cure with moisture in the air. If you pull this out, it could end up having moisture on it or uh, just isocyanites, and it'll basically crystallize and lock this cap in place. So if you grease the cap, uh, it's always going to be no problem to pull back out. Uh, you won't have to end up replacing your whole Y strainer. So just put some grease on there. Don't be shy with the grease. Now this is just Graco white lithium grease, diffusion gun grease. Works great on anything to do with this stuff. 
So we come back over here, we'll just shove it back inside. Clockwise, let's tighten with our hands, and we'll come back with the wrench and do our final tighten. There we go. That is a clean A side Y strainer filter. The B side Y strainer is right here on uh, the B side of the machine. Everything's in blue and our B on the B side of the machine. So, uh, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to turn off our valve. This valve will stop all fluid flow to the Y strainer itself from the drum. So, we'll turn this valve off. And then we're going to come in and we're going to look at this big nut in the bottom here where the filter is. We're going to turn this big nut counterclockwise, loosen it up, and the, the Y strainer screen itself is inside this, this body right here. So I'll go ahead and loosen that off. Hold our bucket underneath. Let that drain for a second. And we're going to pull out the screen inside. Just shove your finger up in there and pull it out. That's our screen right there. Now we're just going to continue and let this drain. Make sure we get all the stuff out of the inside of the Y strainer there. Take our dirty filter, we're gonna put it in there, and we're just gonna swish it around. And you can already see this couple chunks coming out of that filter there. We're just gonna make sure it's nice and clean. Just give it a quick wipe. Look inside it, nice and clean. We're gonna put that filter right back in. So to put it back in, hold on there. We shove it inside this little uh, recessed part of the, the cap. Shove it in, right back up inside. Thread it in clockwise. Finger tight, and then we'll uh, tighten it after with the wrench. Just nice and snug. There we go. That is a clean Y strainer filter.